Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. Sweden is definitely OP in Europa Universal War. So, um, a couple things. I, I was just looking around at uh, Novgorod here, and one of the things I th I'm hoping that they'll change is the the fort zone of control mechanics. Right? So I'm looking at it like, okay, I need to take one of these three forts in order to take any land from Novgorod. And you can see right here on, on the map the provinces that I'm able to move into and, and whether or not they're restricted. You know, I can move here because I can go here and then here and then I have to go to the fort. But if I ask for military access, access from Muscovy, which I can most certainly get, then I could instead move here and then move to here and then move to here. Which means that this province, even though right now it's land movement blocked by hostile fort, it's not actually because you can ask for military access from a third party. And I'm hoping that that gets changed because otherwise I just feel like fort zone of control is really meh it's just not it doesn't just because I can ask for military access access from Muscovy doesn't mean that this fort should lose its ability to project a zone of control here and so what I would maybe consider is that like the zone of control could extend into neutral territory as far as like restricting that movement from here to here it needs to be that way. Otherwise, what's the point? Like, it's just so common with these little tiny countries. You know, like, Livonian Order, they have a fort, right? Well, just ask for military access from Rig from Riga and you're good to go. You can go wherever the hell you want. It's stupid. I don't like it. Anyway, um, so we've got this fantastic 14-year Regency Council. Um, that's gonna be fun. But hey, you know what? It's Iron Man. We can't save scum. There's no such thing. Um, we also have Tech 4, which is nice. So, tell you what, you're moving to Ostrobotten in April. Why don't you actually send a guy to here? And then the four stack, yes, you can go to Ostrobotten. We'll take one of the guys and have him actually go to here. Just make sure the three stack is still continuing on. We'll take one of the other guys and have him go to here. This may be a bit risky. Just having them march up there. And they might suffer a little bit of winter attrition. Actually, no, you know what? It's just one regiment. They really shouldn't suffer any attrition. Alright, so we're going to go and we're going to stab Novgorod in the back because we've got fantastic military skills. We've got infantry combat ability plus 20%. We've got level tech 4 military. We've got... We're just amazing in like nearly every way. There's a massive, massive navy there. So fortunately, Neva will be blockaded. So we'll probably siege down Neva. We'll need six to seven regiments for that. Venice has declared war on Cyprus. How dare they? I'm hoping that uh, Novgorod keeps 15 regiments down there and just ignores me. Because that would be great. I could just siege down Neva and no problems. He'll arrive in Neva on May 30th. Uh, apparently one of my little infantry has decided to go and kill it though. Damn, he's, he's beast mode. Kill. 132 brave men. Brave Swedish soldiers killed 600 horses. Seems unlikely, but they did. Alright, we have no leader. We have no mo military points to get a leader. But we don't need no leader. Where we're going, we're fine. That is going to cause you to take some time to actually begin your siege. Why don't we give you an extra infantry to start it up? And, uh... Well, since you can't do anything on your own, you might as well just come back. Join with the other army. We'll send all six of them down here. We've got some manpower. We can afford to have a couple extra regiments here just for safety. Because there is a 15 stack there with a 151. Holy crap. I need a leader. I need an adult. That's a little scary. The 151. I don't like that at all. Still, let's get all this stuff occupied so that he can't, uh, can't do anything. Oh, he's actually taking some combat. Let's go help. I don't know if it works like with, with the ground units, but hopefully by being the last of the fight, none of our ships will be actually targeted. They should all just, yeah, he retreated from that fight. Cool. Back to protecting trade. Alright, so now these sieges are done. Rather than loot, um, well, go ahead and loot, but loot in one province. It's like adjacent to where the actual stuff is. And do we want to start the siege over here? I mean, right, I'm gonna—I'm actually just gonna do this because there's really no reason not to. We have a relationship slot available. Let's pull back a diplomat.
Uh, yeah, you'll go there then as well. Get our military access through here. And now we can just march right over there. It's just, that's so dumb. I really don't like that. Denmark annexed Holston. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna abuse it, don't get me wrong. I still think it's dumb. Alright, education for a king. Pretty sure we have a... Oh, it is a man. I thought it was a woman. Of course, I thought, I thought it was like a... I thought I saw Anne or something, but anyway. The tragic passing of the previous king has left Frederick August Porse without a parent, but not without guardians or tutors. Advisors serving at our court are preoccupied with giving him the best education available in preparation for ruling Sweden. Hopefully, hoping to gain favor and influence in the future, many people try to serve as a primary influence. Ultimately, one of them is likely to succeed, impacting what sort of ruler uh, Frederick will turn out to be. You know, Frederick is actually the name of the, the CEO of Paradox Interactive. Frederick will increase his administrative, diplomatic, or military. Well, he's a 153. Um, are there any important decisions that we can pass that require a specific number? I don't think so. And I just like the idea of turning all of our leaders into military guys, because I think it's fun. So, let's go for the uh, warfare. War military. Yes, just stay there and siege, please. Don't don't actually come and fight me while I siege anything. We are restricted. Where are we? Can we move on Novgorod? No, we can move down here. Because of Muscovy again. Again, that shouldn't be the case. There's a fort here. Which doesn't border this one, but this this fort should still be able to force me to go there. I really don't like that. The, the more time I spend playing with this patch and like seeing how the actual things work, the uh, zone of control and everything, the more apparent it is that it's got weaknesses and flaws in its in its deployment. I guess you could call it. So we're just swooping in behind and just full occupying Novgorod, and they don't seem to notice. Which is great. Without a leader, mind you. Alright, he's finally moving on Neva. We do have enough points for a leader. Luck be a lady. Give us a good guy. Oh. That's not at all what I wanted. Well, um... It's gonna take you until January to actually get there. What if we sent one of you guys to, like, here and here? Is it faster? 27th, 22nd of December. He can't actually escape, so... That's gonna be the fastest we can get a troop there. I could... No. Yeah, I could hire a mercenary. To get the leader there just a little bit quicker. Let's do that. Let's go ahead. I'm a little bit worried. He's not even a good leader, but... I mean, we gotta try. Okay, nice roll on the fire phase. Shock phase, yes! Nice 8 to a 7. 0 to a 4, not so good. We're getting flanked. Next next phase, come on, don't lose! 7 to a 9, yikes. Okay, um, looks like we're gonna have to fall back. <laughs> okay, well, um, I mean, we killed 4,500 of them. We lost more than that. Alright, let's go rally together. That means that these troops are very weak and, and susceptible to kill and being killed. I'm still going to try to finish these sieges. Although... This fort... Am I able to see like the progress of it sieging back other provinces? I imagine I am. Yeah, okay, you've got to zoom in. If you're zoomed out, you can't see it. Oh, look at that. It ticks back down if you have occupation there, so it's not instantaneous to, to turn it around either. I think it should be more clear on the map, even if you zoom far out. It's like that one's going to start progressing now. So two armies. Should 
shouldn't this one be being taken back? Why that? Why is that one not being taken back? I'm confused. Maybe if we're lucky, we can starve him out of so much income that he has to turn off his maintenance. How cool would that be? We have a lot of manpower right now. Um, you know, I might do. Let's just go ahead and consolidate. So I don't want to wait for these like six months to recover. Let's just consolidate, and then we'll train up a couple more regular infantry. I mean, we don't have any money, but you know, that's okay. Two months instead of four or five months seems better. Why are you not being taken back? There's an active fort here providing a zone of control. It's not occupied. Movement would normally be restricted here. This one should be taking it back. The zone of control is it's not under it's not under siege. But it's just not happening. Yeah, that has insufficient support, but these two are they cannot handle that. Nowhere near it. Military, uh, no, not military, but new technology. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. Sure. Alright, well, if he gets control of these things again, he does. We're gonna have to get out of here, though. I think he's even chasing that army right now. Well, we want to peace out in a way that we actually get some territory, since we, we can't grow at all during this Regency Council. You do kind of need to be here. Is it because I've got an army sieging a province adjacent to the zone of control that none of it, that it can't do any? I don't... That still doesn't make sense to me, but... I think we give up zone of control thing stuff, these ones, and we just put the whole army together and be prepared to go fight his army. We have morale of armies guy, we've got Swedish morale, we've got really good morale. Our prestige sucks because I declined a call to arms, but... I wonder if it's because we've got military access in Beluzuru. How you doing on income, Novgorod? Forty ducats in the treasury, and they make ten ducats a month. So they make a little bit less than we do. That's that's good. We got control of their important center of trade and trading post. Who's uh whose trade post is that? Is that Novgorod? Novgorod, do you have the ability to make trade posts? Well, we're getting the benefit of it right now. 20 trade power up here. Hmm. Problem is that having 44% control of this node is all just going away into a node that we have no control over. I suppose for now we could collect from trade up there and make some money. A little bit. Like we make 2.8 ducats from trade. Baltic Sea. <clears throat> I bet if I collected from trade up here, we'd make a little bit more money. So the guy's in Novgorod. 2.8 ducats. Let's see if we can make like three, maybe. Alright, I need to actually fight that army and, and beat it. So 2.8, 2.87. Totally worth it. An extra 0.7 ducats? Hell yeah. <clears throat> well, he's got a lot of forts to siege. 
Although that one has no fort. I could swoop around again and try to just take these three. Feels like that'd be kind of risky. No, I think we just wait here. I mean, we're making money, relatively. It's close. Due to the loot, we're actually coming out ahead. Barely. Spoils of war. Ah, shoot, we just ran out of loot. So now the army can't maintain itself. Now that, if I could move there and kill that thing, that'd be amazing. I think he's going after that. Um... I think we have you come back around. Oh, another naval fight. We will participate. Never mind. The more navies we kill, though, the more money they're going to have. Oh, that's painful. Disagreeing advisor. One of our advisors, while having been a faithful servant so far, uh, okay. Even if they might have some grounds for criticism. Kill him or gain points? We'll gain points. We'll also take admin tech. Alright, now he is moving on... Well, he's trying to move on that. I mean, surely he can't have that many cavalry, right? Does he have insufficient support? I know that as a... As an eastern, uh, like guy. I think he's allowed to have more than most western nations, but... Yeah, notice how these are not being forced back by cargo pole. There's something weird going on with that. Like, this thing should be returning control of Colmgri, and I think, again, it's because I have military access with Muscovy. Let's try something. If I cancel military access, how much you want to bet it starts taking it back? No? Why not? Game mechanics, why you no work like I expect, huh? <clears throat> of course I just gave up control of the siege. By pre pressing the detach siege button, what I meant to say was, I don't want control of the siege anymore. Yes, game, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> God. Wave of Devotion, cool. Protect against Novgorod. Well, if we win a fight, and they lose some regiments, that will happen automatically. So now Riga has control of the siege with their 6,000 men. They can't even siege the thing adequately. Fine, you know what, I'm just gonna leave and you can sit there, I don't care. Bastards. Giving up control of sieges should just never happen. Whichever army was there first should just always have control. Oh, now you're gonna leave. Of course you are. Such a bastard. Stupid Riga. No, stop it, Riga. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna help him until he decides he wants to leave. Go ahead, leave. Get out of here. Riga, this is my fort. I need the fort to peace out, okay? I hope you die. I'm gonna let you die. Just, you, just die. Go ahead. I don't care. Bye-bye, Riga. Bastard. Moron. Being such a jerk. You know what? You should go take that back. Uh, no? No? Why? No? Okay, so, okay, I guess that makes sense. Because the fort's here, we can't... Okay, now, yeah. Game. Game. Alright, let's just go do this fight. Negative two penalties, not good, but we've got a bigger army. We should be able to beat him. It's wider. We got better. Well, they actually teched up. We got tech four as well. 
They just rolled a 12 versus our negative 2. So that's less than good. Yet we still won. Although at a high cost. Hopefully he consolidates his regiments and we end up with a larger army than him now. There we go. As soon as he gets locked, I think we move up here and we go fight him in Kexholm. I'm going to detach a regiment so that I have priority on that siege. Riga, excuse me, Riga. Prove our prestige. <laughs> yeah, it's unlikely. You know, I could have sworn at one point the detach siege button was safe. You could use that and it would never give up control of a siege. But somewhere along the way, it stopped being the safe click. I don't know when, but it did. Well, they got some peasants. Hopefully they don't decide to move on never. Alright, well, let's take a short break here. Um, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.